A Marine pilot from Lemonster who was killed during a NATO training drill overseas got a homecoming procession today. Captain Ross Reynolds died last month when the Osprey helicopter he was piloting went down in Norway. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. Reynolds' body was returned to Lemonster today, and WBZ's Paul Burton says people line the streets to pay their respects. It was a hero's welcome home for a Marine captain from Lemonster. On Saturday, the remains of Captain Ross Reynolds returned back to Massachusetts. A procession escorted his body from Logan Airport to his hometown in Lemonster, where hundreds lined the streets to pay their respects for Reynolds and his family. It's a tragedy that this happened, but hopefully they know by seeing us here that, you know, we all support them uh, for the sacrifice that they made. Two fire trucks draped the American flag over Electric Avenue as the procession made its way through Fitchburg on its way to the funeral home. Both sides of the streets were surrounded by friends, strangers, and military families. It's very important for the family uh, to let them know that people care. 27 year old Captain Reynolds was one of four service members who died last month when an aircraft crashed during a NATO drill in Norway. Uh, my heart is broken even when I don't know him. Lemon's the young man and uh, it's always it's always hard loss of life anyway but I mean this one was a training exercise. For Karen Tomeo this just hits too close to home. It felt like the right thing to do. I'm a mother of a vet so I get it and this is not a place where you want to stand but you do it because it's the right thing to do. It's duty. Those that knew him best say Captain Reynolds was the type of person who could light up a room. Growing up, he was an Eagle Scout and would often volunteer his time to hold the American flag at community events. Now everyone here is holding flags in memory of him. I think it's important to show Ross's family that we appreciate his sacrifice and it's important to take time out of your day and recognize what our military does for us. From downtown Fitchburg to the Anderson Funeral Home on Clarendon Street, the outpouring of love was powerful and palpable. Captain Reynolds will be laid to rest next week in his hometown of Lemonster. In Fitchburg, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.